I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, he sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Hmm. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. You seem to know everyone in the district. Detroit's my home, born and raised. I know most of the guys around here. Went to school with them, or I busted them. Sometimes both. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. You're stupid. You look so goofy and stupid. They fucked up. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Sorry, Lieutenant. It took me a while to find you. Connor, no. I believe your personal issues should not affect the investigation. Not affect the investigation? I don't understand what's bothering me. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, Connor! You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh. Nobody's supposed to be living here. But the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> 